Welcome to Technology Learning Space YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna start a how to do series for VMware vCenter. First video is to know about how to deploy vCenter appliance in any XSI. In that, first step is to download VMware vCenter from VMware website. You can use a 30 days trial for your lab environment or you can download it from your account. Once you complete the download, mount the ISO you downloaded Go to VCSA UI Installer, navigate to Windows 32, then double click on Installer File. Click Install. We have two stages, Stage 1 and Stage 2. We'll start from Stage 1. Accept the License Agreement. Here I'm going to do an embedded platform. Enter the IP address of EXSI host, username and password. Click yes. Now give a name for your vCenter appliance and password. Here I rename it to VMware M for main site. Then select the deployment size based upon your environment. Then if you want you can enable thin disk mode. Fill the details including IP address. And make sure the FQD and the fully qualified domain name is, is resolving from the machine you are working. For that, NS lookup to the FQDN. Here it's answering with the IP address. Now check the reverse to make sure the reverse lookup is also working. Okay, now you can proceed. This is the most uh, common mistake that people make when they deploy vCenter. Okay, so the deployment is going on. I'm just pausing the video for a while. It usually takes uh, less than 10 minutes. Now the stage one, deploy vCenter has completed. The next step is to configure vCenter. For that, Either you can browse to the FQDN with port number 5480 or you can press continue from the previous wizard. In case you are stuck with the previous wizard and you succeeded the deployment, you can start here. Click next for the stage 2 configuration of vCenter. Just review the configurations. If you want, you can enable SSH for vCenter. Then click next. Configure SSO domain. Either you can give your custom domain or default vSphere.local and create a single sign on password, then click next. If you want to join the customer experience improvement program, you can. Here it's for a demo, so I just skip it. Have a look up all the configuration, then click finish. The configuration setup has completed. Now it's time to see graphical interface of vCenter. For that, click the URL showing the. You can see there is two options to getting start with the VMware vCenter. We'll see the first one, HTML5. For some of you, this may be a new interface. Login with the single SSO domain username. Now you are into the HTML5 graphical interface of vSphere vCenter. Now let us see the other one. Login with the SSO credential.
So that's all about how to deploy VMware vCenter. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos.